Hi everyone, it's Mischief. I just wanted to talk to you about the Spring Festival that's going on right now. Um, there's two events. You can beat the Neon Monster or you can do the turn and match, which you should do both. Both events give you rewards the more you do them. So I had somebody ask me in my alliance why even attack the monster when he appears in the world. There is rewards based off of each time that you attack him and also overall damage. So the more you attack him, the more bigger the reward and the more rewards you'll get at the end. But you also have this little bar at the top that fills up over time. The more you attack him, you get more points towards getting guaranteed rewards, so you don't have to be in the top four in damage to get those rewards. You will still get more rewards the more times you participate, and you want to at least hit them once so that you get the participation points. But other than that, you do you will get a mel with some rewards, whether you are on or not, to help participate in killing the Neon Monster. Those rewards are cool too, so either way you're going to get something that's pretty cool. So I do recommend attacking him every single time so that you can fill up your rewards. The turn and match game is like, you know, exactly what you think. Every, uh, just like when you're, you were a kid and you did matching games, you, uh, turn over the cards and try to match it up and try to remember. You only get 14 flips of cards for free. You can pay to have more, which there's 12 cards. So technically you could turn twice and uh, not get a match, but it's pretty hard to clear the whole board and get all the matches without buying extra turns. But it really doesn't matter. You get five chances every single day to do the matching game. And over time, it fills up the bar. You can see at the top and on the right when you go into the event. It fills up this bar and you get better and better rewards. And on the very last reward, there's a frame that can go over your profile picture. And you can even look at the frame if you go into your profile and click on decors at the bottom. You can click on avatar frames and scroll down and see it. It looks pretty cool. It says 2023 and has this little bunny and fireworks and everything. It looks really cool. How to get it, you want to make sure you do the matching game every single day. And you can pay 200 diamonds to play it extra times. And I tested that out. It doesn't seem to go up in price the more you do it. So you can do that as many times as you need to to reach that end goal, which is really cool. You can get this frame without having to spend anything if you save up your diamonds and use it towards extra matching events and try to get as many matches as you can throughout the time frame that you're given. It only is lasting for this one week, so there's about four more days that you can do this, but I do recommend doing it every single day just so that you can get the rewards, and it's a pretty fun game. I like I like that one. I like the Neon Monster 2. It's just hard to always be on when he shows up. He shows up every eight hours, which is cool because it lets people on different time zones participate in that, which that's very smart so that everyone can participate. But if you are able to get on every single time he shows up, then you can get more points than everybody else so you can get the rewards. Now, if you're in season six, there, the Neon Monster only appears in the Dimension Zone. He doesn't appear on Homeworld. So... To participate in that, you need to make sure that you're on the dimension every eight hours, not in homeworld, whatever dimension that you're in. 
I know right now there's only a multipolar world, but there's going to be other dimensions that we'll be able to pick from in the future from what I was reading. But to get the to participate, you do need to be on the dimension. And that is everything to this event that is going on right now that I have gathered. And I hope that you can participate and get lots of goodies and hopefully a really cool frame by the end of the week. If not, it will just be fun. All right. If you have any questions, you can message me on here or you can send me an in-game mail. I do have a lot of accounts, um, but you can message me on in-game if you can find me. <laughs> Thanks. Happy hunting and happy flipping. <laughs> Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I appreciate you watching. Bye!